Diana, so we can't forget the spine, uh, again related to sustained posture over a bike during a long day ride. Uh, we're going to have a few things to work on just to make sure we're getting some nice varied movement out of the sagittal plane so that the spine doesn't get cranky over time. Okay, so a little bit of spine movement. The first movement we went over is thoracic extension. Really important for bikers and desk jockeys because they're usually in this position. So a thoracic spine flexion, we wanna get some extension. So to do this really simply, we don't need to get too complicated. Foam roller begins kind of where your ribs start. So about three quarters of the way down the spine. Protect your head by clasping it. Butt stays on the ground curl over that foam roller and give out a deep exhale. You might get some clicks and pops, no cause for concern. Working all the way up towards your shoulder blades, then back down, call it a day. That's wonderful for thoracic extension. Okay, so let's get the lower back, mid back, and neck all moving together in a rotation type pattern. Uh, to do this, super simple, laying on one side, bottom leg is straight, top leg, the hips at 90 degree angle, and resting on a foam roller. Don't let that knee come up off the foam roller during this movement. Hands start together, open the top hand up and over, follow that hand with your head so that your neck is rotating with your lower back as well. Check to make sure that knee hasn't dropped up off that foam roller. Nice deep exhale, might hear a click or pop, no cause for concern. And repeat four or five times both sides. So there's the back hack for today. If you're planning a long bike trip, we want to move you out of the sagittal plane, get some varied movements so you don't end up in pain. Now, if you're interested in some more therapeutic exercise or physiotherapy, you can find me here. And Yana, they can find you where? And they can find me right here.